Well, it is a windy one today. Winds are finally out of the south on this hunting trip, and we're up here with Whiskey Slews in the permanent spread with the pit blind. And we got some nice gusty winds. I think we're gonna hopefully get a good flight today, but I'm coming to find out that filming snow goose hunts, especially in this kind of situation, it's a little bit difficult. Uh, it's hard to get video for one of just like the birds, but then like adding some context and making a story uh, about this video, like, or this hunt making, you know what I mean? Like, it's just kind of difficult. We're just sitting here with the electronic calls on, sitting in the pit, looking, waiting for the birds that are gonna do it to do it. And that's kind of about it. So I might just kind of sit back and let the GoPros just kind of roll all day and hopefully we get some birds, get some good retrieves. We showed up, we just shot one right when we uh, pulled up here. So, hey, we'll take it. And uh, I think Cora's pretty pumped. She's been doing pretty good with, uh, you know, being out of the hunting season for about a month or so now. But all the training we've done over the past few months seems to have kind of set us up for success on this trip. But yeah, that's about it. We got Adam here, Sam, and one other that are gonna be joining us. So just four of us in the snow pit today. So stay tuned. Cora. Good drop. Well, we're up to two now, and we still have plenty of time left to shoot, so that's a good sign. A couple of singles just coming in right by themselves. Can't complain. But uh, we are working on Cora. She's, uh, she's got a few things going on. We need to work on the winding, and that's just a patience thing, I think. So we'll work on that here in the future. But then uh, she's also dropping the birds a lot on the way back. I don't know if it's because their geese are a little heavier, or we're on land. She's kind of hot. I don't really know what's going on with her, but we got to work on that too. Work on a good hold coming all the way back. But I don't know. Adam, you did good. You got two birds already, buddy. Two birds, yeah. Nobody else shot any of them, so. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't shoot that one. That was you. Hundred <laughs> percent. Did you know? Did you know that oatmeal cream pies have five hundred calories in them? <laughs> <laughs> Adam found that out today. You eat a whole package of oatmeal cream pies, a thousand calories. But how many calories were in a Big Mac? Five hundred. No, it's one. It's five hundred for one. The one package. package. Oh, yeah. I thought you said the one cookie. Well, it's one. There's only one in there. There's not two in there. Oh, there's only one in there. I thought there was two. It's like really thick. Yeah, it's a double decker. Oh. Cool. Might as well eat Big Mac. We'll give it a go here. I think uh, I think it's a good sign. We might see some more. Cora, come on, let's go. Fetch, hold it. Come on. There you go. You got a good hold on that there. That wing was flopping around a lot. Drop, drop. Good place. She likes the live one. Yeah, she does. Place.
he's got to move a little for me to see him. He's going to be right in front of the battery. Oh, he's going to be Get up! Get up! I don't know. Drop. Dead bird, hunt it up. Hold. Fetch. Good drop. Good girl. Well, that's a wrap for today. We did pretty good. Got a decent little pile of them back there. Uh, I was having camera difficulties. I thought I was recording, but apparently not. It's not good. Um, this is probably the best hunt out of the trip so far, and I can't seem to manage to film very well, but hopefully I got something out of it. But it was all around pretty good day. I'm happy. It was fun. Cora did okay. Uh, we have a lot to work on. Today was a rough one. She's been kind of cooped up in her crate, and I think that's kind of affecting her, so. We'll learn from today and we'll definitely be doing some more training this spring and summer and getting her dialed in. I mean, I'm, I'm noticing that we really got to work on some blind retrieves and whistle stops. Uh, but all in all, I mean, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot for a dog. Tall corn stalks, a lot of decoys, and she's marking from basically down underneath the ground. So a lot of things that make this a little difficult. So, you know, trying to give her some grace and hopefully she can learn from what she's been doing here today but that's about it for today big shout out to whiskey Saloos for having us out here if you guys enjoyed it make sure to leave me a thumbs up if you're not subscribed make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one